empty tables, closed doors, and worries about the economic impact the city's residents are ordered to shelter in place. Only essential businesses are allowed to remain open in Maryland. Today I'm issuing a stay home, stay safe executive order. A shelter in place begs a lot of questions. How's are going to pay their bills? I'm not gonna, how am I going to pay my bills? Rent is coming up. We got Carnos coming up. We are no longer suggesting that Marylanders stay home. We are directing them to do so. If the businesses don't survive, many Americans won't have jobs to return to. It is impossible to keep our grocery stores stocked if our plants are not running. We work so hard and then all of a sudden it's flushed down the drain. More than 15 million out of work and desperate for relief. These numbers every week, they, they've literally never been seen before in this country. The worst may be yet to come. The system crashed due to sudden high demand. They can't even process all of these claims. Small and mid-sized businesses really hammered here. We saw healthcare lose jobs for the first time in, in ages. I'm a small business owner and she's putting me out of business. Security without liberty is called prison. governor and the stay-at-home order. The number of people goes down the block. They say that they're ready for this order to be lifted. They want to go back to work. Hi, my name is Mark Meckler. Welcome to Open the States. Open the States is a spontaneous citizen movement to inform the federal government we've had enough and also to force your state and local governments to withdraw unnecessary and unconstitutional restrictions and let we the people get back to work. Because the verdict's in. The cure is worse than the disease. Extreme restrictions have radically reshaped our society. In Vermont, they're telling stores what they can and can't sell. In Michigan, they placed a ban on lawn improvement products, seeds so you can't grow your own food, and even watercraft with motors. And officials everywhere are telling us which of us are essential and non-essential. This is ridiculous and it has to be stopped. These draconian top-down edicts have been issued with little to no input from our nation's most important authority. That's you and me. We the people. Shutting down the world's number one economy? We're talking about depression level devastation. And it's unsustainable. And the confusing and often contradictory executive orders pose a direct threat to our livelihood and our liberty. Enough is enough. The faster we can get America back to work, the better. It's time to take a stand. One of the bedrocks of the American public is that we're safer when we're free. We're safer when our government abides by our Constitution. After all, we're Americans. We'll get through the crisis if government gets out of the way. But there's good news. A movement's rising. Everyday citizens are organizing nationwide and they're working together to reopen America. Right now you can access our OpenTheStates.com website to connect with action groups in your state. It's time to put pressure on the politicians and make them listen. If you know of a group that's not on the site, just use our form and tell us about it. We'll list them right away. Because it's time you and I make our voices heard. It's time to win back our liberty. Together, we'll open the states and we will get America back to work.